Hello, my name is Lieutenant Stefan Perez. I'm a nurse officer in the US Public Health Service at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. As people become eligible to receive COVID-19 vaccines across the United States, nurses will continue to play a key role in ensuring vaccinations are administered safely and efficiently, both inside and outside of traditional clinic settings. Nurses may be called on to serve as vaccinators in their own clinics and hospitals, at community vaccination events, or at mass vaccination sites. Wherever nurses are called upon to serve, there are some key considerations they must understand when preparing and administering COVID-19 vaccines. Before giving a COVID-19 vaccine to any patient, nurses must first be knowledgeable about the specific product they plan to administer. Multiple COVID-19 vaccine products are available for use and each has unique considerations for storage, handling, preparation, and administration. Anyone preparing and administering vaccines must be familiar with the Emergency Use Authorization Fact Sheet for Healthcare Providers. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention also has continually updated information on important things nurses need to know about each of the COVID-19 vaccines currently authorized for use. Please visit the website on the screen to learn more. Every nurse has been trained on how to give an intramuscular injection. However, depending on where nurses practice and what type of patients they work with, they might not have many opportunities to practice this skill. Even nurses who do provide routine immunizations may benefit from a review of important principles for administering vaccines to ensure they're up to date on the latest guidance, including working with different patient populations, practicing the rights of medication administration adapted for vaccines, and using proper techniques for intramuscular administration. CDC provides nurses with updated information on best practices for vaccine administration, as well as offers continuing education credits. Please visit the link on the screen to learn more about this important information. Proper vaccine storage and handling practices play a very important role in protecting individuals and communities from vaccine preventable diseases. To ensure the safety and efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines, it's important to remember that vaccine integrity is the shared responsibility of everyone from the time the vaccine is manufactured until it is administered. Nurses should have knowledge of proper vaccine storage and handling procedures to ensure the safety and integrity of the vaccines they are administering. Please follow the link on the screen to the available resources from CDC to learn more about training and continuing education for proper vaccine storage and handling. A key role for nurses is providing important patient education about COVID-19 vaccines. Identifying trusted sources of information is critical for staying up to date on the latest guidance, patient resources, and key safety messages around these vaccines. CDC provides continually updated information. Nurses should also be familiar with Emerg Emergency Use Authorization, or EUA, fact sheet for recipients and caregivers for each COVID-19 vaccine they plan to administer. For each vaccine authorized under an EUA, the Food and Drug Administration requires that vaccine recipients or their caregivers receive the fact sheet to help them make an informed decision on vaccination. Review the resources listed in this link to learn more about patient education on COVID-19 vaccines. During this unprecedented time, nurses at every stage in their career might be called on to assist with COVID-19 vaccination efforts. This may include nurses who are retired or newly graduated, or those practicing in an acute care or community health setting. It may include nurse researchers or advanced practice nurses. Whatever your current nursing role, you may choose to assist with vaccination efforts in your area or beyond. If you are new to vaccination or have not administered a vaccine in the last 12 months, you will be required to review the training modules discussed earlier. CDC has created a list of select trainings and competencies based on your experience with vaccination and your current work environment. To determine which materials are right for you and to begin your training, visit the link on the screen.